Good afternoon. Uh, let me thank, uh, thank for the opportunity to participate in this great conference. Uh, I've enjoyed very much uh, hearing about, about the theory of consciousness, uh, about the physical theories, quantum theories, and also the great things about how to raise consciousness about, uh, among people, how to, how to improve the well-being of all of us. And this is, this is the main topic, and this is also the topic of uh, my project, which is Democracy 2.1. I uh, sincerely believe that uh, in order to, um, to really reach a global awakening, global uh, change in minds of people, we need, uh, we need to uh, focus to think about not only the public, uh, public uh, awareness, but also about uh, what people we choose as leaders. How, how will society function? What will be, what will be, the, social, uh, what will be the system, the political system? And many of you, many of us, uh, think nowadays that democracy has big problems, and it is indeed true. It's democracy is, seems to be inefficient in uh, Europe and elsewhere. We can see the rise of extremism. We can see, we can see uh, uh, populism, or uh, let's say, a manipulation of voters, and uh, people simply uh, uh, often very uh, often resign of democracy. And uh, nevertheless, I believe that there is no other way than democracy, that we need uniform voting rights. Everybody must have equal access to politics and uh, to decision making. The standard voting system is such that every voter has one vote, can choose one, uh, one uh, representative. The idea of democracy 2.1 is simple, very simple, and it is just that every voter has more votes. In this example, in order to explain it, I will use two votes. Okay, so so we have we have more votes, and what happens? Why is it such a positive change? So I will show you this one an example in uh, in the restaurant this with the restaurant. So um, suppose uh, that we are in a situation where eight people uh, needs to decide where they go for dinner. They need to make a meeting. They need to go for dinner, and they vote. So we have, uh, we can see, uh, we might have Italian uh, votes for Italian restaurant. Uh, there's an international group. Japanese votes for Japanese restaurant. Uh, Spanish, uh, uh, Greek, uh, Greek for Greece, etc. So, uh, so we have the votes, and at least this is a joke. I hope it's, uh, you don't take seriously. Then there are two people who vote for the same American restaurant. So, so who wins? So now uh, with the regular voting system, we can see on the left part that the, the McDonald's, because there are two people who share the same vote, wins, and all people have to go uh, to McDonald's for, for, the, for the dinner. <laughs> now, uh, what is the result of, of such a vote? About from a, if we define social utility point of view, which can be defined, it would be the sum of utilities of all the participants. This is actually the worst choice. Two people are satisfied. All the other, probably all the other six people are dissatisfied. They would prefer any other restaurant than McDonald's, probably. So how to, how to solve this problem? And here it comes the crucial point. Uh, in order uh, to improve the voting, we give each voter two votes. So each person can choose not only one, the best choice, but also the second choice. So everybody has, uh, has the ability to state the second choice. It's the same way. Okay. So now we can see the results, an example of results. Uh, many people choose as a second choice the Italian restaurant, so the Italian wins. What we get here is that, uh, that um, the social utility uh, probably uh, is likely to come to the best scenario. To, to either, if not the best, then one of the best, because most people are satisfied. Even perhaps even the people who voted for Madonna are okay with Italian restaurant. So, just by changing uh, the algorithm of voting of choose, we get such a big difference. So the application is politics, obviously, selection of leaders. But not only that, uh, we are developing a bet-based platform where people will be able to log in and use the ideas of the democracy 2.1 uh, to choose uh, to to do their own voting. We have had a communication with uh, several NGOs and think tanks, uh, including Clinton Global Initiative, uh, Brookings Institute, uh, Rockefeller Brothers. We are in a very uh, involved communication with the World Bank. And this is actually a great application 
the World Bank uh, will be using Democracy 21 in participation budgeting in South America and elsewhere. We need to do something to, um, to improve the governance and to be able to communicate around, across the globe. And in order to communicate properly, we must be able to choose uh, the best leaders, conscious people as those who lead and uh, decide. And the problem is, of course, that those people who are hungry for power and money and who might be in a position of uh, just doing negative things uh, are, often have sharp elbows and they won't try to, try to rise up. And the idea of D21, of the algorithm of selection, is that we will be able to systematically choose uh, much better leaders than nowadays. And by choosing better leaders, uh, in Western Europe and later elsewhere as well, uh, we will be able to communicate much better across the globe and uh, reach uh, the ultimate state of, uh, of uh, awakening in the, in, in the world. And uh, I am hoping and I believe that D21 might be one of the tools. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah.